So in today's video, we are going to be looking at doors, not just any doors, teleport doors. So before we get started, I'm just going to run through the things that you need to be able to do this. Now, if you've been following this series of tutorials, you would have everything, so you should be absolutely fine. But just to quickly run through them, you're going to need the Dungeons Market Master, you're going to need Minecraft Dungeons, you're going to need Minecraft Java, you're going to need Python, um, a text editor, and that is about it. So if you're not familiar what a teleporting door is or a dungeon, um, basically it's this door here. This is a teleporting door. It is a door to another structure or dungeon, whatever you want to call it. You go through and you literally teleport. You can see the world changing around you, but you're not really moving. So this is a good way if you want to expand your level, but you don't want to build any more on top of it. Or you want to put a secret room in or something like that. Um, it's nice handy and you can build off from it. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to go into Java. So we're in Java here. We're going to load up our void level that we've been working on and doing things to. Once it's loaded. Right, so we're in here. This is our Java world. It's very basic. If you remember, if you don't remember, we've got the main start tile here. We have got this regional tile here that duplicates itself X amount of times. I think it was 10 times. And then we've got our end point here with our spawn and our finishing location. So we're going to put, want to put a door in. Now, if I put a door on this tile, it's going to duplicate across the amount that we decided. If I put a door on this tile, we've got our spawns and stuff. So I think we're just going to stick it on the main tile. Now, these can be a pain in the ass. Um, I sometimes get infinite loops and things like that and wonder what a silly little mistake I've done but I run through it and it shouldn't be too much trouble. So first off we've got to decide where we want to put our door. Now we've got lots of stuff going on here. This is the barrel I think it is and these are the other door types that we do. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it in here um just for ease. I'm going to just put a structure block down. It doesn't really matter where it goes going to put the structure block here and I'm going to name it door and then I'm going to call it entrance. I'm then going to go and put positioning zero, click on load and go to save and put the structure size as I three by one, three by one and see where that comes. So that's going the wrong way. That's going that way. So let's try changing these values one and three and there you go there's a what would be a door so that is the first part to make a structure block and references reference it as a door the next step would be to build the area where your door is going to lead to now this will be just like any other stretch or tile that you build so we need to build this i will go and build this you can listen or watch to me doing it So here we go, here is a little room that we've made and we're going to put another structure block in. So it doesn't really matter where you put it, I'm going to put it sort of the same place just for ease at the moment. Now this needs to be called door exit. We're then going to put it in relative positioning, go to the save option and go 3, 1, oh, three three one and see where that goes so that's the wrong rotation Ooh, wrong rotation again so one and then three so that is there it's not in the same place it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to line up it doesn't even have to look the same it can be completely different i actually might make that a little bit wider just to give some more uh things hold on a sec There we go, we've done that and the rain has started. Now I must say, you, I build it away from here so there is a gap that is not touching that tile like we did before and the other tiles. It's uh, more for your preference than the games, I believe, just so you can see what's what and you haven't got nothing to mix up by. Now it started raining for some reason, I do not know why. Um, we're just going to sort that out to be clear so it's not raining and annoying anyone. So anyway, our little level here, or our secret level, shall we say, is now set up. It's just a simple box room. We have one door inside it, inside it called door exit, and we have another door on the main bit of our level called called 
entrance. So this door here will link to this door here and you'll be able to teleport between these two rooms. Uh, not like these doors here where they actually join the two stretches together making it one large room. So anyway, that is almost it. We now need to go and reference the corners um, in our level. So the best way to do that is to go to oh, go save and quit, go single player, click on the void not to play, go edit and then go open world folder. Open the world folder and here is our object.json that we need to edit. So I'm just going to load this up. I just bring it across here. So it is here. You can see that we go down a little bit. Right, so we can see that now. We've got our little block section here and we need to add a new one. So what I do is I copy this here. I paste this here and then I go back to the game. I go cancel and I click play on void. I then am back into the game. I need to reference the lowest, I can't remember which side it was, we've done lowest left hand corner, F3 here, and you can see that it comes up on the right hand side. So that is targeted block. So let me get this back up and I'll just make this a bit smaller so you can see. Right, so we've got this one here. So we need to give it a name. We are going to call it. Um, should we call it cave up do and then we're going to reference these blocks here the targeted blocks that's here so we've got two comma nine nine comma six so we go back into the game and we need to reference the most top corner so the most top corner is here but it's not because we've actually gone a little bit higher and plus the door so i'm going to go too high on this one and then I'm going to escape and go back to my editor. In my editor on the bottom one, POS2, I'm going to put it 9, 103, comma, minus 4. That is both of them done now and we don't have to do this anymore. Just make sure you save it and then we need to go to our Dungeons Modding folder. So our Dungeons Modding folder normally lives on the desktop. If you haven't got one and you're doing this by yourself, you should be going to your Dungeons Mod Kit Master and then you'll be going Tools and it is then java world to object so when we run this it will pop up with a window sometimes it takes a long time sometimes it doesn't so here's the window here still waiting so it pops up with the first window this is where we need to go into our game save now i've got too many saves going on too much going on but anyway so we want arch haven and it should be in here because our level wherever it's gone it's gone somewhere um, it's not that one it would sorry it's yeah it is void isn't it lucky I am um, copied this across so anyway it's a void not Archhaven I'm gone mad so right we go to void and then we press select folder we then need to select where we want to save this file now our file should be uh, within our dungeons folder Sorry, within our Dungeons Mod Kit folder. So if we go to Dungeons Mod Kit, we can then go Dungeons, Content, Data, Lovica, Object Groups, Test, Object Groups.json is what we need to overwrite. So we're just going to paste this in here. Um, and that is what we need to overwrite right there. So we click Save, press Yes. Hopefully that's the right one. Otherwise, I've mucked something else up. But <clears throat> we'll open this up now and we can see it's open here and we should have main one main two main three um prop and cave so um that is everything that we've got the prop was the uh generated um bit the cave is our secret level or our extended doorway teleport we have then got main three which is the end we've got main two which is the dynamically generated middle part of our level and then we've got main one is where we spawn you can see the player spawn right there and we've also got our entrance door here and then if we go down to the cave we have got our doors exit so we're all set up and we're all ready to look at the next file so the next file this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated we need to go back to Lovica levels and then archhaven.json so we load this up here it is here and let's go through this slowly so within the archhaven 
um, JSON or your levels.json. This is where the magic happens and you need to put stuff in. Now I've already got stuff and stuff in here. You may have different stuff than I've got. But if you've been following all that I've been doing, then um, you will have all this. So you've got mob groups, you've got default mob, sorry, and then mob groups. We've got play and throw, we've got the object groups, then we've got the stretches, um, the tiles, the objectives, we've got the prop groups, and we've got fill. So we need to close some of this up because it's a bit long and we don't need to utilize all of it. So I'm just going to go and close the main big offenders up, um, stretches. We need tiles. We don't need objectives, we don't need prop groups, and we don't need the fill. So the first things first that we need to do is we need to add the dungeons in. Now I'm going to add it under under stretches and above tiles. So <clears throat> what we need to do is put this in here. I'll paste it because it's error free. Um, and then you can copy it. And I'll also put it in the description for you as well. But anyway, we need to paste this in here. Basically, this is a dungeons object. We are saying that there's a dungeon now, and the dungeons ID is a dungeon. It has an ambience of delta, and it uses the tiles of cave for the stretch. So the stretches have the tiles, and then the tile is cave. So this is all done, and it should work absolutely fine. If you're typing this out, be careful of the comma placements and things, because one wrong comma and the level won't load. So anyway, that is done. That is registering our dungeon. We we then need to register the teleports within the tiles. So our first teleport that we first built was within main one, which is here. So we need to put a teleport in. So the first thing we need to do is go here. Uh, next, I like to put it here, right next to main one. Click enter, and then I'm going to paste this in here. Notice I've got a comma on the end because there's information below it. So I'm just going to try and sort this out because it's gone all horrible. Um, with the indentations, it's still not brilliant. Um, that'll do. <clears throat> so we can see here that we've put this information in here. It's setting up the teleport for the tile main one. So teleport with the door of entrance, so that's what we named our structure block. It also has an exit named exits, so that's what we'll look for to link back to. Um, we also have told it that it uses the dungeon a dungeon and it has a object prefab of doors travel lobby bp doors la, 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 la. you can see these doors and that if you've got f model you can go in you can have a look um it is here these are all the door travels um there's lots of different ones you can choose from just be careful some of them rotated and flipped and things just in case they don't work out they can be a bit of a pain so just bear that in mind it might be a little bit of fettling to get it into place and actually where you're happy with it so that is main one all done now and then we need to make the new one of cave because we've added a new area we named the area cave um, as I think it's in here cave this is a new area or region whatever you want to call it block stretch we all oh, wrong one we then need to go and add this in so I'm just going to copy this in so it's easier so under here where it says main three entry door main two we are going to press enter um, and then paste it will then let me think we are here I should have, there's a comma and then we've put this in so <clears throat> basically what we're saying is we have now a tile of an ID of cave that has a teleport of door exit so this door exit will link up here to exit door to here because it goes backwards and forwards and it should all be done so if we want to run through this quite quickly we have a tile called main which has a teleport on it that teleporter has a door entrance or is a door entrance with the exit of door exit it then loads dungeons with a prefab door um, a dungeon is within dungeons up here so you have dungeons has a dungeons which load tiles sorry it loads the stretch with tiles cave and then cave is back down to tiles here which has a teleport door of exit now it is rather confusing and it takes a while to get your head around how it all works and like i said earlier one wrong comma and that's it it's game over you need to try and figure out what you've done wrong well anyway i'll put the like i said i'll put that in the description so you can copy it straight out and paste it so I'm going to save that now and then we need to package this all up. So we need to go back to our Dungeons Mod Kit Master. I don't know if I'm on the right one here because I've got about 3 million of them it feels like sometimes. Um, no, that's not the right one. So our one is on my desktop. It is under Dungeons Modding. It is Modding and then Dungeons Mod Kit Master. We then need to go Tools. 
and I'm just going to check something uh, user settings and package output so because we had an update I had to update this and change it all to the new one so I just wanted to make sure it is the correct one it is it is three I have changed that but you may need to change it and edit it um, right so back to Dungeons Mod Kit Master we have package here now bear in mind you cannot do this when the game is running because you'll enter an error it will tell you but it flashes up so quickly you probably won't be able to see it so as soon as you double click this it will load up and then it's done so I can see there if you keep an eye either says I think it's compressing or complete one of the two it's so hard to find so it says compressing and it has a, a um, account up to 100% if you get the error I think it says error 13 so just bear that in mind it goes really quickly so now we're gonna load up dungeons and see if it's worked so here we are in my lobby I'm not going to show too much that is all you're going to see uh, my custom lobby that I'm making um, anyway we go into Archhaven because that's what level we're lurking, working on and we're going to go start mission so hopefully what we're looking for is we're looking for a dawn straight door straight on the main one region and then we're going to look for a new world so here we go it's loaded up now you can see that unfortunately it sort of flipped around and done some weird stuff you can see there's some sort of light here so <clears throat> if we hang over here you can see there's a little arrow now like I said the doors are very finicky and they are so annoying depending on what orientation you've got your level in depending on what you will see or what you won't see a lot of them are only one way facing so therefore if you're seeing the back of the door you'll actually see straight through it so we can click here look you can see we can click so something's loaded in there we click there and there we go we have got our new region that we've got now because we have no fill on this it doesn't do the nice gradient fill out um, so just bear that in mind you have to put the fill in to each bit otherwise it it will go like this and you'll have like a floating a floating world it's not black though so we can go back through here and we land back in here so it is working it's not ideal but it is there so now when we've got this we can now encapsulate the door into into it we can build it around it um, we can even try moving it back a little bit within um, Java so we could here we could move these doors and we could put them in here and hopefully it would go all right and the same with this one it may not it may do it you may have to um, just to show it's like up here like this so people can actually understand that it's a door um, it really depends what orientation and what door you're using and the same we could do it here I'm not going to do it now but you could do this like this and then oh like that and then we could do this one as well I will do this next time and then you can see that that's actually probably going to be a door rather than not a door it's like I said it's all a bit annoying it's it's working don't get me wrong but it's not how we first originally intended it but this is how you get a a teleport door to work in dungeons um, so you can expand your level or put secret levels in now we've just got to find some content to fill this bit annoying but I will I will do something and I'll, I'll post a quick video on what I've done and then you can see it but as for now this is just a simple basic tutorial on how you get teleport doors to work within dungeons and hopefully your levels growing like this one is it's getting bigger and bigger the more we do so if you have been modding and you've been running into problems or you just want a community behind you don't forget to check out the Aduku Craft Discord server they are really knowledgeable really helpful and are here to help the community they are pretty much the only community that are modding dungeons so get in touch and land down on the Discord and I'm sure you'll make some new friends so anyway we are done here for today thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and if you've got any questions just shout them out and I'll do my best to answer I'll catch you again soon.